today we got a nice one. Nice, easy peasy cook up rice with some fried ribbon fish. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. Look at this delicious rice. A nice fresh fish that we got yesterday at the pier. Let me show you all the ingredients we're using. All fresh, nice herbs and vegetables, some from the garden, some we bought. Of course, is a piece cook up rice. I cut up everything, so it's gonna go with split pea. Rice, I got some Malabar spinach or poi bhaji. I'm gonna list everything in the description box. And here's the ribbon fish I seasoned yesterday. So let's get started. Everything, everything is cut up already. A little bit of oil. Put in our onion, garlic, and ginger. And let us saute for a little while. Cover this and then come back to it in a few minutes. Get nice and soft. Caramelize in the pot. Mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. Now we can add our peas and a little bit of all the seasoning and some salt. I like the flavor as I go along with my food. You'll see what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add my coconut milk, the peppers and some thyme and the cilantro and the culantro, the broadleaf thyme. This way everything is seasoned up nice. This is a vegetarian rice, but you can definitely add other stuff to it. But this is usually how it's eaten. Split pea cook up rice, is, or it's usually called kitchri in Guyana. Just a little bit of everything now. I'm going to add the rest when I put the rice in. Cover this about 15 20 minutes. Turn it, turn it on low also. You don't want it to burn on the pot. If you have a pressure cooker, this could save you at least 20 25 minutes of cooking time. I'm going to add the rice. Mix that well. I'm going to add everything else the garlic, I mean, sorry, the carrots and the different spices. I'm going to put a little bit of butter. Give it some extra flavor. Black pepper, of course. And this is my cook up rice seasoning salt. I got this from Caribbean Supercenter. And it, this is what the brand is Chief. And they make fried rice and chow mein. Brand one also. And this, I don't have the package. So I just usually throw it out in that container. But that's the brand that, you can, that, that I use. And this is my version of Kitri. A piece of cocoa rice. Very, very delicious. Simple ingredients. Let's mix, mix that in well. Some people usually add jeera or turmeric to it here now, but I don't. I just like it just as is. But you can add those too if you need it. Look at that. Nice. The coconut milk has gotten right into the rice and all the veggies. So now I'm going to add my water. I usually add hot water. So you'll see in a few minutes. I usually put about enough water to cover the rice, maybe about a quarter inch above the rice line. And that usually is enough. Because I'm going to turn this down low. Some people add chickpeas. I usually do sometimes, but I didn't put any in this one. Let's taste it for salt before we put anything else. And this is the fish that I'm going to cook in a few minutes. And we're going to go through the cleaning process and all those stuff. And this is poi or Malabar spinach. Very healthy, fresh from the garden. Look at that nice and young leaves. Now I'm going to cover it. Turn it down really low and let this simmer whilst we set up our fish. 
put some flour in the fish in the meanwhile. And let me show you quickly how I clean this and prep it to reach at this stage. Ribbon fish, very few people eat ribbon fish in the United States, but we love it. The meat is white and nice. That's what it looks like. I've got all my seasoning over here. I'm also going to list everything in the box so you have, it's, it's available. But ribbon fish is very tasty. I'm going to dry blend the seasoning. And prepping, cleaning this fish is very, very simple. Take the head and tail off. Then we're going to cut the fin off with uh, scissors. Very, very simple. Some people love this fin. I got a buddy here, man. He just likes this fish just as is. Doesn't want any other fin cut off. But Now, the, most fish that have no scale usually have a mucus-like on it. And that's why I like to... Same thing I did with the catfish curry a few days ago. Or kingfish or mackerel. So I'll just pass the knife along the skin to remove the mucus. I'm going to wash this out. I'm going to cut it up into whatever size to cook. And as you're going to notice, as I get closer to the gut, it is so simple. You don't have to worry about cleaning the, in, the inside. Look how easy it is. Cut. And that's the gut area. Cut that piece out completely. That's it. All done. I'm going to finish up here. I'm going to wash the fish properly. And then we're going to season it up with our green seasoning mix. Make sure you remove most or all the moisture from the fish. The drier the fish, the better, the crispier it will be. So I'm just going to season this up nice with some green seasoning. Some salt and black pepper, a little bit of jeera, and some turmeric. I'm going to mix this well, and I'm going to set it aside in the fridge. An hour of marinade time is, is very good for fish. I just did mine the day before. So that's it. I'm really just going to fry this up. This fish is a thin fish, so it doesn't take long to fry. Maybe two, three minutes on each side. I'm going to flip them, then we're going to take them out. And this cook-up rice is almost finished too. Mm, kitchen smelling really nice. I'm going to take out the fish and rest on a paper towel to remove any ex excess oil. Now i got to sample this fish for us. And that's my homemade lime pepper sauce I did last week. I'm going to leave a link at the end of the video for you guys to check this video out. A little ketchup. I'm just going to dig right in one time. You know, I'm going to make sure the fish tastes right, right? And I'll show you. This meat of this fish is white. Look at that. Just be careful the bones. But look at the meat. Nice white meat. And this, go, this goes really nice with this cocoa rice I'm making. I'm going to turn the stove off and this is all done. So you see I, I put my spinach on top because I'm going to pull it aside. Because some of my kids don't like the spinach. So it's easier for us to take it out. Oh my. Look at that with the lime pepper sauce. Guys, I hope you do find this video interesting. If you do, please leave me a like. Drop me a comment. Let me know how you like your kitri. Maybe I missed something or added something that you're not accustomed to. Let me know. And as always, please remember to subscribe. Hit that notification. And thanks for watching. And here are a few more videos.